Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're getting back on that shabby experience that is Craftopia. So we can see we've got our ugly little breeding pen over here. We'll go take a peek ski at that, see how that's doing. We'll write our little updraft here. Ah, look at those pigs just stacking up high. Look at them all coming. Watch, I bet we'll see one glitch through the top here in just a second. They move fast enough. Oh no, it went out the side. I've seen them go through the top a couple times, so that glitch is still in there too. Look at them go. And also, what I did real quick, I don't know how well it's going to work, so we'll see. But I added some chests with some absorbers in here. I put some absorbers on the walls as well to try and pull in everything that comes out. So it looks like it's working a bit. I know some when I was testing it, some areas kind of got stuck. It's a little wonky at times. Like, you can see here, look, it, stuff's just sitting right inside it still. So it's it's not perfect, but I feel like that's, that those are getting the majority of it down there. This That one's just like a kind of catch-all. So, with that, though, this is pretty much all set. So, we'll just keep an eye on this and see how everything goes. Next, what I want to do... Eat some meat. Put that meat in my mouth. I want to build a automatic wheat farm. So, I'm going to do that here because my plan... Let me start down here. So, this is where my cooking is. So, I want the chest to come out here somewhere, right? So, what I want to do... So I hit this. Go grab a chest here. I've, I think I already have everything made. So we just need another container. Why can't I put it there? Is it the wall? Because of this? It is because of that. I'll get rid of that wall then. Oh no, I can put it in now. Cool. So... Now I've got this here, so, oops, that's facing the wrong way, stupid. So pretty much, I want the stuff to fall onto these platforms here somehow. So with that in mind, I'm going to build our first automatic wheat farm. So I've got plenty of stuff here. So I want it to fall here, so I'm thinking the wheat farm's going to come here. So let's build a couple platforms just coming up here. That'll be high enough. Yeah, that's high enough. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ish. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One too many. I'm going to do eight. Beautiful. We're going to have that. I'm going to go one more out. But I don't know how I'm going to finish it off, but just for the moment, I'm going to do that here. And then I'm going to have walls here for the moment. And we're going to make a top wall here because this should keep the excavator from falling out. But also allow us to have the crops fall out of the zone. Okay. Now let's grab all of these. Now let's hope these aren't still glitching really badly. Before, I had to make that out of wood before, because even on the stone, they kept falling through and glitching around. But it looks to be fixed now, which is great. So we've got that. Now, I need sprinklers. So I made a couple. I've got four here. And from what I remember, if you position these right, you can actually have them water a 2 by 4 area. Something like that, maybe? Yep, see, you got all eight of these. So we're just going to do the same thing here. All right, there's step one of the automatic wheat farm. Great job, everyone. You did it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now real quick. Can I? There we go. Now 
Excellent. So I'm going to have that here. And the purpose to that is because this is where our conveyor system is going to go. Towards me. One too many? Just in case. So this is where they're going to fall down, and I'm going to... Let's put a wall here. Excellent. Okay, so that should work brilliantly. And what I need is I'm going to need like four absorbers. So let me see how to make those again. I don't think I have any extras on me. We need more charcoal. I'll make five. And can I make charcoal in these or was it just at the cooking stuff? Yep, I can make charcoal here. These take a bit, so I'm going to spread them out. This is why you have multiple crafting stations, because even though I could make a hundred of them at a time, if you want stuff quicker, you need to spread it out. Beautiful. Okay. So now, I'm just going to put in a couple or so I'm thinking let me see grab this grab that this I should need them like every halfway so I'm thinking like something like this should work fine I think I can just hit it from here oh I can And we'll just put one here. So I'm thinking that should pull everything out. Now let me just get rid of this floor. Let me just get rid of this floor. I need to make that rod I saw. Okay. Now. So these will come out here. They'll get... Oh, you know what I need? You do need a wall underneath this. So... Okay. Put these down. All right, now I just got to get rid of this. So finicky. So we'll pick up all of these now. There we go. And then we're going to unleash our final item here, which is our harvester bot. So he's just going to go around and he's going to harvest that just like that. So you can see they're being absorbed out there, falling down onto the conveyor belt. Then the conveyor belt's going to go into that chest. And our little harvester bot here, he's just going to go around. Now, I definitely do not suggest putting two into an area this size. Uh, previously, when the first game first came out, when I had two in an area like this, they would sometimes hit each other and cause some collision. And the collision would force them outside this area because they can technically go through it. Okay? But they don't when there's only one. If you want to have two of these farms, you just mimic it. Either right on the opposite side of this, or right above it, or below it. Like, what we could do is make another one right here. Then we just have some more suctions and more walls. You can see how... I wish I could, like... Eh. See, like, some of that fell right there. So I am just going to wall it off completely. That one got missed. There we go. So now there's just a couple still stuck in the wall from previously. Grab that out. Grab that. There we go. So now everything falls down here. And gets stored into this chest. Look at that. It's already a bunch in there. 
All right, and then after you go AFK for a while, you just grab all that and turn it into wheat flour. And then we'll turn that wheat flour into bioethanol. Now, I'm going to find a way. I saw an item. I don't... I got to see how to work it. I'll have to do a lot of trial and error. But let me show you what I saw in here. It was this thing here. So a portal can attach to chests, deliver raw materials from the chest to, to be processed in a facility. In this safe world protected by the god, there's... So if it can go from a chest to a facility, I'm wondering if I can go from a facility to a chest. So if I set up a system of, for instance, taking these... And I, I might even be able to do it with a hot pot. I got to check. I remember before there was a lot of issues with trying to automatically make flour with a hot pot. It didn't work so well and just caused more issues than it solved. But I'll test that again and see how well that works because I got a lot of, I remember you get a lot of failed recipes because of incorrect quantities. So I, I bet they fixed it. If not, well, then so be it. If that's the case, we can have that set and figure some more automation out but for the moment this will do just fine so now throw some of these up here so we can get back in here and get out i don't know what i'm going to do with this space yet but we've got it it's ready to be used so now we've got an automatic wheat farm i'm going to set up one more right underneath it here just to have two well actually you know what with we're getting it pretty fast. I probably don't need to, but I'm going to get it anyways. Close this off. Yeah, so I got the next one made, but... Oh, there we go. That was weird. It was telling me I, w I couldn't summon anymore, and I didn't know why, but it seems to be fine now. Scratch what I was saying there. So now... So I closed everything off, so now I've got, you know, um, this will be just in case I need other access, but we don't yet, so. Let's close this little sector off here. There we go. So now if I need access, I've got, I've got external access to our conveyor belt system. Then obviously our chest here, looking nice and full. I've got tons of wheat here. And let's see, how many can I make? 40, so I'll, my sausages aren't done yet. So 80 of them, so you're looking at like, I don't know, 27-ish a piece. Graph that. See how close my quick math was. Ah, spot on, champ. All right. So, little intro here. So, obviously, I couldn't I couldn't put the wall up here, so it kind of re it really bugs me, but we'll have to survive. So, we've got obviously like we said, we've got our little cooking area here. We've got our chest here, so we just come in here and grab our flour, and then we can come up here craft our bio and if we need access going up these ramps will give us access to the first one here and also maybe I'll just leave this open I can sneak out the side here nah I don't like that close this off and if I need to get to the top I have access up here get right in there Now, one important thing to note with these guys is, too, if you do build them side by side, you got to be careful about the spacing. You can't let them be too close because these bots sense crops. So if you had a crop like just over here, they might try and go for it. So when I did it, I probably I used this same half wall here and then I had a blank space here and I just mirrored it on each side. And that seemed to work perfectly fine when I had two going. But I had the vertical space here, and I wanted to go vertically. So, and I think this just looks better this way. So here's our wheat farm. We did it. Now we've automated our wheat process. So we just kind of... I need to play around a bit with the chests and stuff and see how all that goes through. Hmm. 
trying to think about this. I don't know how I like that. I, really, I don't, but that is what it is. So what I want to show you guys now is, and I'm going to use, I'll use this space here. What's all this? I don't need any of this anymore, do I? No, this was just all for filler. Same with this. This was just all backspace. I'm going to clean this up real quick. Just came up to the mess that's the pig farm. I got a hundred batteries sitting here. We got some poopies as well. We got some pig truffles, which look very reminiscent of testicles. And I've got a bunch of stuff just sitting here too that the things aren't picking up. So it is what it is. And it is very buggy in here because of all these things just sitting in here. It's absolutely crazy. But trying to get out of this is a disaster. Like, look at this. Ugh. Ugh. Get out. I made it. Oh my God. That was crazy. Okay. And it doesn't seem like I had popped this just in case the uh, they started glitching through the ceiling here. But it doesn't seem like they're actually getting high enough to do that. So I'm just going to close it off. Get some of my conveyor belts back. That's just a little platform here. Here's a viewing platform. Put a couple more walls over here. Because they need privacy. Can't put one there because that's where they're moving out of. And then they'll come this way. Beautiful stuff. All right. I want to put it here, but I kind of like how it's open so I can see what's going on, too. Uh oh, I fell in. No. Not like this. Get out of here. Too much crap in there. All right, one thing I haven't checked is what do I actually need to progress the age? I'm not even sure. Oh, I just need a little bit more bio and grab my titanium out of there. Let's go do that. All right. Got everything we need. Onwards to the next age. But before we do it, let's see what we can unlock in here. So look at all that new stuff right here in this next age. So this is going to give us platinum tools and weapons. A punching bag. That's cool. Some other things. We've got the the dill, uh, the platinum rocket. Sorry. Read that wrong. Uh, we've also got a bunch of food. Hot air balloon. Really dumb. I don't suggest it unless anything's changed with it. That's a very powerful home run bat. That's crazy. A baseball helmet. A boar mask. That looks cool. Dual wield wild might. Oh, so different masks now. I think some of these existed before. One of the fox masks did. Cool, cool stuff. Some new weapons in here. Big damage. Some nice armor. Red dragon mail for men and women. Poison arrows. Ooh, the wings. Look at that. With fewer feathers. Oh, that's where we get the circuits. Oh, look, we do get some more furniture. Look at that. That's cool. Wooden glass frames. Okay. Oh, we... No, we're gonna have to use that for our... Uh, what's it called? Wheat farm. So we can just pretend it's like a greenhouse. Artificial bedrock of titanium? What? If you place it into an exhausted bedrock and pour an uplifting supplement, titaniums will be available to mine again. Wait, so bedrock isn't unlimited anymore. Oh, it, it was unlimited before, so. All right. Age evolution. All right, what do we need for the next one? Holy crap, this is different. You know what? We couldn't get to the next age before. Before, it had like, you did like 999 thousand or like nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine diamonds to progress the age but even with your entire inventory full you couldn't have enough you'd always have like one short so that's how they did it but now we can so that'll unlock diamond pickaxes skilled machineries oh man look at all this new stuff oh the sagittarius bow that we saw earlier okay we get some oh and then the age of the dragons not yet implemented Okay, that's cool, though. Look, oh, high-speed conveyor belts now? Dashboard? Oh, like a little waveboard, kind of like a Mario Kart. Some bullets. Oh, man, we got some cool stuff coming. A high dragon helm for men and women. Okay. Okay. I see what you're putting down. So let me go show you what I want to do here. 
All right, first I need to eat some food. And then... And then we need to make farming plots. So I need to go grab some wheat and some sand. And I'm going to make some of these farming plots here. All right, I got everything I need. And I'll show you that as we go. But what we're going to do now is we are going to make our crop farm. So not just seeds, but now crops as well. Okay, that's not where I wanted you to go. And I think I want to go one more higher. Yeah, this is what we're going to do here. And then let's plop all these down. I'm going to go eight of them. Yep. I'm going to do a four by four for 16 tiles here. Excellent. We'll put up a couple extra walls. Okay, that'll do. And now what I need is our farming plots. All right, and I'm going to start us off real quick with our cabbage, because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you right now how to get every seed in the game, pretty much. And I'm just going to start with the highest tier seed, because the process will be understood with that. So what we do... Okay, let me see. Plop this here. Hit it. Boom. So it's no different than when you do water. If you stand in the right spot, with even with a seed... You can hit all four tiles at the same time like that. I forgot. I do need water, so let me go grab um, two sprinklers. All right, so I'm going to plop one here. Oops, that might be a little too far up. I don't know what I was thinking with that. Yeah, it's a little too far up. Put it right here. Actually, you know what? It might... I wonder if I can water everything if I just hit it right here in the middle. I don't have a seed to put up there to test it, but we'll try it. I'm not sure if I can hit a spot like this. I've never used it in this sense, so... But now, we're gonna harvest cabbage. But first, let me do this real quick. So what I want to do... So this is our entryway down here. Put our little stair ribs in here. And we're going to utilize this empty space right here. So, I've got two items here. One is the seed extractor. The other is the breed improvement. So we're going to go here. We're going to put down the seed extractor. Plop it like that. And then the breed improvement. So how these work is... Do I... Oh, I don't have any crops. Let me go grab some crops here. So let's go harvest. Boop, 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 boop. Harvest all our cabbage. So, and you can do this from a tier one seed, right? This is what the breed improvement does. So if I take the cabbage here, right? So I've obviously got different types with different uh, prefixes on there. So if I throw cabbage in here, all 18 of these, let's say, I've got a 1% chance to get a lemon seed. Now, mind you, this is a tier 11 seed right here. I've got a 1% chance for it to downgrade to a lemon seed or an eggplant. So that's 2%. 95% chance for it to stay the same. 1.5% to become a zucchini at tier 12, and 1.5% to become a chili pepper at tier 12. So what you do is, you hit improve breed, and you just let these go, and we're going to get a bunch of random seeds. And then, all we need is essentially one tier 12 seed to make this work. Okay, so I'm going to grab these seeds... I just forget where they go. Here they are. Let me just spam that. 
and I just come back and look at my seed. So I got a zucchini. So that's a tier 12 seed. So I'll just take that zucchini now. And I'll just repeat the same process. I'm just going to throw them right down in here. Wait for those to grow. And then I'm going to throw them in the... In the breed improvement. Then then what you do... So if I wanted to build more corn... More cabbage, for instance. I just throw these into the seed extractor. And then it'll give me seeds. Zero to four seeds will be randomly generated. So that's what's nice about it. And then... I'll show you what we do once we get up to peaches, which is the highest tier. So let me get that. And all I'm doing is, like I said, I'm just planting a crop, the highest tier I have, throwing it in here. Then if I get another higher tier, great. If I don't, I'll take some of that crop, make sure I have four seeds minimum. So then I can fill up my, my four by four here. And then I'll keep repeating until I get to peaches. All right, it didn't really take me that long, maybe like 15 minutes or so. I need to wait for my things to sell, though, because I'm running low on cash. Obviously, 100,000 is low in this instance because I wasn't even noticing, but um, it costs money to get seeds now. Like, for me to get these, to turn these 44 into seeds, I need to uh, spend a little bit of moolah. That wasn't a thing before. But you can see here, when I throw the peaches in here, they're the last things. Pineapple and coconuts, tier 13. And then peach seeds are 14. So I threw a stack of peach seeds in there. Or a bunch of, some peaches that I gathered. And the rest of the other crops that I had gathered in the meantime as well. So that's going to sell here in just a moment. Come on. 14 seconds. Look at this. This will be our new land. Look at those pigs. Nasty things. All right. There we go. Look at that. A million. These peaches sell for eight grand a piece. I also have like a... I washed all my seeds so they get a 1% increase. Um, Where is it? Um, Where am I? Where am I? Peaches. So you can see I made them washed now. So I get an extra 1% price. Just so they weren't all different. So now, let's throw all of these in here. Craft that up. And this is how you're going to make a ton of money. So like I said, just grab the highest tier seed you have. You can even wait till you get a peach. If you go to high level dungeons, you often... Well, not often. On a rare occasion, uncommon to a rare occasion, you'll find a peach seed in one of the chests at the end of the map. Which is amazing find. So and then that's how I figured out this method. And I was like, I bet I wonder how well this combination works. And it works amazing. I, I did a video on it where I went from a tier one seed to a tier 14 seed. You can do it. You can do it easily. So I'm just going to grab those couple seeds. Remember, we only need four seeds to make this work. But I throw the because four seeds is going to fill up my my farm here. And this one sprinkler does work. It works perfectly. So it actually looks like before, I remember there being issues with it where it like sometimes didn't get the corners when you tried to do this method. Um, but it looks like it now definitely hits a solid 4x4 four four area, which is nice. Maybe bigger too. We'll have to find out. So now when these grow, watch, I'll show you how many peaches we get out of this too. It's, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. But in the meantime here, Look at all this. What What is that light there? Look at all this wheat. So much wheat. We're full. Just keeps coming. Told you, it's a great wheat farm. So we'll just go fill these up, then check on those peas. Alright, now... What happened to these seeds? Did I miss? Guess I missed. I wonder if he cut them. No, but he would have cut these too. I don't know. I don't know. But it don't matter. So, I like doing this with a two-handed weapon like this because you can use its charge attack and you can hit a nice two-by-two -two plot like this. 
There we go. So now, what do we get out of those four seeds, right? Inventory, peaches. I got 126 peaches from four seeds. Four seeds. That's ridiculous. So I'll come back in here, throw these down. Come back here. You ready? We're going to sell these real quick. Boom, boom. Look at that. 8,400. Oh, those aren't washed anymore. Oh, maybe because... Oh, I washed the seeds, but I guess it doesn't stay. That's all right. I'll probably wash these seeds, though, next time. But you ready? Watch this. So one harvest from four peach seeds. Ready for it? Watch that. We've got just under a mil. Hit it. Item ship. Look at that. 1,058,400 from four peach seeds. The seeds themselves. Oh, yeah. I got to sell these seeds too and whatnot. Uh, the seeds themselves are worth 4,200. They're half. So we're turning, what is that? 84, 16,800 dollars worth of seeds into just over a mil. In no time at all. It takes like a minute to do the whole thing. So I'm going to wash these. Oops. But wash those for me. I'm also going to grab the other seeds and wash them. Because I'll get another 1% on top of that. So. Take an extra 1%. Why not? Oops. Where am I going? I don't even know my own base. Down here in the, uh, the laundromat. Throw these in here. So now that's 77 seeds. That'll last a while. And that's millions and millions and millions of gold. This is why I say money is not an objective. Ah, yep. He's definitely hitting it over there. Because <laughs> I just saw them disappear. And you can somewhat automate this. Like I could have a harvester bot in here. Harvesting as well. But I don't have a... I don't think there's a way to automatically plant seeds yet. There could be that I just don't know about with some of these new updates. But at the moment, you can't. Or at least I understand it that you can't. But yeah, guys. So there we go. So what do we do? We got a lot done today. We're getting our base nice and hefty. We've got our wheat farm. Gloriously gathering wheat now. Plenty of wheat. All that we'll ever need. Are you going to hit these? Oh, uh, you know what? We're kind of bugging them out with this here but that's okay usually when i do this so this is what i mean this is a great example when you have crops too close he wants to hit this tree but he can't it's too far away for him from him so he's just gonna sit there and get confused if i just get rid of these he'll just start he'll start his rounds and see there he goes again so not a big deal Usually, when I do this, I don't even keep crops just sitting here. Like, if I'm using it to get crops for cooking, I'm it's act I'm actively doing the task. So I'm never worried about things actually disappearing like they are now, because I would be sitting up here AFKing it, and then I'd see the trees all made, and then I'd go and harvest them all. But yeah, guys, this is how you make a ton of money. You use the breeding facility, you get yourself some peach seeds, and then you just turn peaches into seeds, and then you take 126 of these. And you can get even more. And you could automate it a bit. You could put a harvest bot in there, then you can get some of the same things we have over there to suction them off and throw them into chests. It all works the same. This I usually just do manually because I don't need millions... I don't need a billion coins. It's We just don't, so I don't waste my time with it until later on. But yeah, guys, so if you're loving it, there's your two farms. We've got a wheat farm that's fully automatic, as well as this is how you build yourself up to tier 14 seeds, the peaches, and then how to make tons of money out of it. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these things. Let me know if you found this helpful and if you're going to do it yourselves as well. Would love to hear about that. Oh, look at those guys. They're getting tall in there. And yeah, let me know what you think about this too. Obviously, let's just take a peek ski down here at our facility. Just going to kind of jump in here. So, I'm stuck. Oof. It's a mess in here. Not enough space. Oh, it's the leather. Oops. Go to my inventory. 
Um, I'll just get rid of... I'll get rid of that two bioethanol. Just get it out of the way. Like, look at all that leather in here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see, it's like, it's really buggy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Up, up, up. I'm stuck. I can't get out. Made it out. Okay, we're okay. Steel chest. So, look at that. We've got 175 batteries sitting here. We got some poop, too. Poop will be useful. We need that to make, like, nitric acid or something like that. Used for making bombs, black gunpowder, etc. So yeah, let me know what you think about all of this going on. A little crazy. We're going to get back to the adventuring here shortly. Because now, we're geared up and ready to go. We've got our base automated and ready. We've got bioethanol in production. We've got batteries being made. We just need to do one last progression. And we're going to be fully cultured. So I need to go figure out how to get hell peppers. Grows in hell, so I got to go find hell. That's a new area that came out. And let's see, heated mineral, I'm assuming that's also in hell. Hellfire wood, diamonds, and black gunpowder. So yeah, that's all things we're going to be starting to go on the search for. So stick around for that, guys. And if you want to see that notification, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can see that sweet daily content every day, 9.15 Eastern. But all right, guys, that's enough out of me. This has been Shabby Doo. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.